Uh, I'm, all right. I'm sure any session which we have after lunch is a bigger hectic session for both the uh, audience people and of course the speaker. But I just hope that I'm able to live up to the expectation of my uh, esteemed IoT members who have given given me an opportunity to be um, uh, to serve uh, this platform and present before you a small presentation of mine. So uh, my presentation is visible to you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, it is visible, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, my topic for today's presentation is stress and time uh, for teachers in higher education institutes. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for giving that small introduction of myself. Uh, I just hope that I'm able to live up to the expectation of the people today. And we have a quite an interacting and an interesting session. Now, uh, it says that uh, uh, since uh, COVID has taken a heavy toll on everyone, it says a smile is a handshake with your face. So, of course, since we are uh, virtually connected with each other, so here goes a big smile from my side to everyone who's listening on this platform. All right. Uh, everyone can see this. Uh, I want my uh, dear members to be a little interactive with me. You all can see this slide, right? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Just, I would like uh, everyone. Uh, what do you think? What is being shown in this slide today? Any one of them. I cannot see the names. Otherwise, I would have called out the names, and uh, I would have interacted. Since my presentation is there on the screen, so I cannot see the names. So, anybody, please be a little interactive. So we have a nice session. Anyone? Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, or other people are not connected, yeah? Ma'am, they are connected, ma'am. Ha ha. Please tell us your uh, tell your name first, and then uh, you can say. Uh, in case if I ask you anything, please tell me your name first, ma'am or sir, and then we can proceed. So, anybody, what do you all think about this slide? Hello. Wait. Then I need to call out the names. Then mm. it's like uh, we got more than ten people who have joined today. So uh, maybe Aparna, madam, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Ah, ma'am, just tell us uh, what can you see in this slide. Uh, if you can stop the slides, I can like anything, whatever you can see. I just want you to let me know, huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There are uh, some animation, like some uh, people are dancing in one picture. Mm -hmm. Then uh, one girl uh, sleeping. The flowers are. There's a breeze. No, that I can see. I'm just describing the pictures. Ha, ah, yes. According to your perception, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, everything is like related, like use of uh, ICT here. All right. So according to this is ICT, okay. Like use of ICT in uh, relaying these uh, pictures to us or presenting this to us. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So yeah. uh, according to you, this is something which is related with ICT. All right. Anyone else, please? Anyone else? Well, I need to call out names again then. Uh, then it's like, uh, this is Dr. Reena, madam. Can you hear me? Dr. Reena, madam. Yeah. yeah I can, but uh, it's not very uh -huh. visible. I'm not able to see the slides properly. All right, all right. Now you can? Looks, yeah, looks like it's a busy activity going on. All right, so according to you, this is a busy activity, OK? That's all I can make out from so many <laughs> small slides are there I'm not able to see. Achha. OK, ma'am. Anyone else? Uh, please, I want my August audience to uh, come up with their views, please. Anyone else? 
I could see Abdul sir. Uh, then this is um, this is uh, Matha Mariel, madam or sir. Can you all hear me? Priyanka, Priyanka, madam, Priyanka Thakur, madam. Hello. This is Angal Ishwari, madam. Anyone? All right. No issues. I think this is all the uh, after break effect. Anyways, so this is a slide that I wanted to put it across to you to know what are what do you actually think regarding these uh, small gifs that I have inserted. So according to somebody, according to one madam, it was a busy activity. According to somebody, it was nicety. Uh, somebody might be saying that there are people who might be playing badminton from the building. Somebody might be saying that the people are happy, dancing, go lucky go types. So I what I want to say that everyone has got a different perspective and people look at their lives from different perspective so this slide was just to get interacted i wanted to break the ice uh, uh, with you all but i think since it's an after session so people uh, are i think i don't know uh, how they are reacting it but no issues all right so it says it has anyone seen normal a corona virus tail uh, you know everything is closed so corona has already taken a heavy toll on all of us and it was like uh, no one has seen normal so uh, post corona during the corona everyone is overburdened with a lot of stress activities it says that life before pre corona and post corona is not the same of course yes uh, during the time of corona uh, for teachers especially since we are talking about the stress and time management for teachers in higher education it was a very, 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 very stressful condition for each one of us. However, the post corona phase is all related with the infodemic. That means we need to upgrade ourselves, we need to recycle ourselves, we need to reskill ourselves. So, that is what it caused about the infodemic. Now, uh, since of course it's all related with time and stress, it says that we must use time as a tool, not as a crutch. That's what it says by, it has been said rightly by John F. Kennedy, that time is the essence of everything. So we need to make the best use of the time, keeping in mind the stressful conditions that everyone faces in life. Then it says that uh, what we will be discussing, we'll be discussing about the stress impacts uh, that we have at our workplace performances. Uh, my dear um, uh, respected brother, uh, uh, faculty members who are there on the various platform, on this platform today, I'm sure everyone is uh, facing different stress uh, conditions because of different pressures that one have. Even I am a faculty in a central university, and even I take up around eight and nine subjects. So it, even if for me also, it's a very, very stressful uh, condition. So we'll be discussing things related with stress or the impact that it has on a workplace performances. We'll be having a look at the causes or the methods, how we can deal with it, or of course, um, how to deal with the procrastination. This is one of the big words, and everybody is involved into it. So we'll be discussing in something related with that and of course um, now we'll be talking about the time management techniques in the workplace now uh, we know that the uh, we know that uh, stress the word the uh, six letter word s t r e s s it already has three s in it and it is very very stressful in itself it says the way our body and mind react to life changes is what it's regarded as a stress and um, the stress we know that as teachers we are the critical mass of professionals we don't have to forget this that we are critical mass of professionals and um, uh, every teacher uh, since we're talking about the faculty member maybe at school or maybe at a university level maybe in any management institute everyone is stressed out because of the pressures there could be some internal or maybe some external environmental factors that would be contribu contributing towards the stress we'll be talking about them a little later it says that the impact of stress on performance is says that stress is the reaction to a tense situation since it can be because of the number of factors that i'll be discussing in a while it says that the stress will affect our work performance naturally we say that um, we are more concerned with the productivity every everybody may be in a school or maybe as i told you maybe a pgt teacher or maybe a faculty member anybody if you are happen to if you happen to be a faculty or a teacher we are stressed out and of course our stress uh, is very much visible on our work performance now uh, they, you might have heard the word productivity right so uh, can you all any 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 one of you can tell me what is the meaning of productivity anyone hello i think um, 
बोल मैं हेलो कैन यू हेयर मी वैल्यू and where you put your skills to use your knowledge to use perfect in producing right. whether it is a service or product correct correct so anyway ma'am either it is it is a service industry or in a manufacturing or maybe other faculty members we are required to maintain our productivity and uh, in case if you if 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 you see in my book uh, i have given a very beautiful uh, equation of productivity it says that productivity is equal to efficiency and effectiveness so as a faculty member also if we are under stressful conditions we cannot be effective or we cannot be efficient so hence we need to work on this stress level so that we can improve our performances uh, anywhere we are and then it says that stress in a workplace will carry on you to your personal life of course we need to maintain a work life balance in a proper way since we are all stressed out we are all busy with our lives especially the faculty members it seems a very easy job but it is a very very herculean task to take care of the students maybe of any age so stress it says that it will affect our performances it will affect our personal life and of course um, it says that uh, you know uh, they can be you know losses incurred a uh, number of uh, you know the, uh, the company will also suffer at your uh, at your cost then it says that from where do we get the stress now stress can come from inside or it can come from ex external factors they can be internal or external factors it says about the body image not happy with the way you look self consciousness or maybe the stress from outside maybe your surroundings your environment it could be the family it could be the workplace it could be friends peers society and others now what happens is uh, like there can be family problems for everyone you can get stress because of that maybe you're the place you're working you may get stress from your superiors from your subordinates from your colleagues or from your own self at times we become very pessimistic we are not able to respond properly to the changes so at that point of time also we see, we can say that we are under stressful conditions and of course the society and for as far as the society is concerned just a minute ma'am so uh, as far as the society is concerned no and actually what happens is we all we are always uh, uh, thinking what people are going to think about us but ultimately the problem is that we do not bother about ourselves we bother more about the society so that is also one of the biggest causes of uh, stress in our uh, workplace then it says that there can be various causes of physical uh, stresses for example there can be physical reason for example prolonged work hours i'm sure people who are there on this platform today now uh, more or less we are all faculty members and we are supposed to work almost 8 to 10 hours a day so if we are having a prolonged work hours or we do not have the flexibility uh, as per the, as uh, yeah, if it is related with the time it is it's it's a stressful condition i remember i used to work in a very private colleges uh, college long back and even if we, you were if we were late by half a second half the salary used to get deducted so at times we used to get in in the traffic jam but still the manager never used to listen to us so those kind of small little things they make us uh, make our lives so very stressful over packed classrooms for example i am in a central university i have a batch of 80 to 85 people in a class so at times it becomes very very stressful to handle so many students to take up so many lectures so it, it is a physical physically you have to be present in the class you have to converse you have to talk about the subject you have to deal with the problems of the students you have to take the assignments you got to take the tests so these are the physical things that add on to your test then again it said it says about the transportation we as faculty members at times we have to travel long distances to, um, for our job uh, requirements so that can be very very stressful you are moving early in the morning maybe 7:30 and maybe coming at 6 in the evening the whole day is gone so that is again very stressful 
And then it talks about the pollution, air and noise. This is, again, the external factors, the environment, maybe the humid weather or maybe the hot temperature or the excessive cold. Uh, it makes us uncomfortable. Overcrowding in the road, this is very, very common. If you get stuck up in the traffic jam, if you're going by two-wheeler, even if you're going by four-wheeler or by a bus or by a metro or by a train, all this happens to be a very, very stressful condition. Then poor, at times, poor ventilation, bad furniture, maybe that at the workplace, uh, the, play, the, the place where you are working, it's not suitable to you. At, at times, the, the, the environment is not suitable to you. At times, you know, there, there are very, very good private colleges which give you better better, environment, better uh, infrastructure, maybe uh, air-conditioned classrooms, good furniture to sit, spacious rooms, long passages to walk down. So it, it all depends where we are working. But this is all our psychological. We can be comfortable in a small piece of um, a small, we can sit in a chair and we can be comfortable. And at times, you know, you're sitting on a couch and then you are not comfortable. So more or less, this factor is related with your psychology. psychology. Then there can be certain psychological factors which can be, uh, which are the stress uh, uh, stress indicators. For example, bullies at times when we are in our workplaces, you know, uh, like there are people who uh, who are trying to pull you down. For example, in marketing, we've got four P's, right? Uh, product price, price, place, promotion. And, but now another fifth P is known as politics. So, and this is very much common in every organization. Everyone is trying to pull you down. So there are people, there are different sort of people in the organization. Uh, so at times there are people who are trying to pull you down. You're going, trying to go up. So, you know, people respond differently. At times people, they, they, they are submissive. At times they're rebellious. So these things, these things, they also add up to your stress uh, conditions. Maybe the changing workplace, uh, like if, if you're not stable at one place, you are continuously shifting from one place to another. That is one of the causes. Conflict with the others. If your, if your wavelengths are not matching, that is a cause of uh, uh, stress uh, amongst the, the faculty members. Or maybe the forced competitiveness. Now, this competitiveness, we cannot overcome it. Even if you are no, no matter, uh, even so for example, if I have got 17 to 18 years of teaching experience, but still I feel that I'm just a beginner. So the competition is everywhere. You know, there's an internal will. I have to also do it. I have to also get the papers published i have to also do this and that so this competitiveness within us uh, you know it it gives us it takes a heavy toll on all, all of us then maybe falling grades or maybe have to present in the class learning disorders special recognition at times, people, there are favoritism, there, there is no transparency in the system. Small little things, they can add up to your stress, uh, stress conditions. For example, then the psychosocial, for example, the relationship that we have with the others, for example, maybe with our uh, peers or maybe with our own self, our superiors, our subordinates. So it all depends what kind of relationship we have. Now, since we are all faculty members, I'm sure everyone must have listened about the business communication subject. So, you know, we have also discussed we also know about the barriers of communication. So whenever the communication is not free, when there is no proper communication taking place, so definitely misunderstandings are there. And whenever the misunderstandings are there, it is quite a stressful condition. Maybe then your peers, for example, if you want to spend time with peers, your colleagues are good, they are able to understand you, the wavelengths are matching, they are able to empathize well with you. They're, at times you feel that um, their opinions are more important. So at times it can be a kind of a de-stress also. It can, it, at times it can be a stressful condition as well. Then conflicts with the friends, colleagues, media, secret lives. These are the things that uh, contribute to the stress, uh, stress conditions. Now, uh, it says that um, how do we react to stress? Now, since we know that there can be internal and external environmental factors that uh, that uh, that leads to uh, pressure uh, or these stressful conditions to us. So at times we know that the teacher's performance is negatively influenced by these stress contributors. So uh, there are different people who will be uh, who will be dealing in different manner. And there would be different kind of people who will be dealing it in a different manner. But however, we know they, the challenges are ever growing. Uh, and because of the uh, global, maybe the competition or maybe the technological advancement, advancement or maybe because of the uh, factors that, that I just discussed. So how do we react to it? So at times it says that, you know, it, the reaction can be FFF. It can be fight, flight and freeze. So people at times, you know, they can be people who can um, who can bounce back. It can people can fight. It can be people can flight. If at times, you know, people say they, they may go away. So 
or they may be freezing that means you know okay we you are indifferent to whatever people are saying to you so at times people react in this way however ultimately how each person reacts will decide will decide how stress will affect you you know at times people say that you are being affected by stress but however stress is affecting you in a different way so because they can be different uh, psychological factors they can be internal factors if you think that for example if you think that i am feeling cold you will be shivering like anything but in case if your if your endurance bar is quite high then you can take it into your stride and you will say oh no 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 i am okay with it i can bear with it so it it says that how stress is affecting you is what you are going to react then it says that this means that whether we get stressed out or not depends mainly on us we are in better control of our own self so we decide whether whether we are getting stressed or whether we are not getting stressed so the ball is in your court so you have to make a decision whether i am getting stressed out whether i am not getting stressed out whether i am happy whether i am not happy whether i am able to adjust whether i am not able to adjust so on and so forth then it says that uh talk it out it says that how can stress from workplace impact other areas of life i i as i told you that stress stress itself is very very painful so how uh, if you if you're working at a workplace how is it impacting the other areas of life initially i told you that it is impacting our personal life of uh, of course yes we need to um, we need to find a plate or we need to find out the ways in which we can de-stress ourselves and then we see ki how we can able to whether we are able to handle it in a proper way or whether we are not able to handle it in a proper way it says there can be different signs and symptoms of stress for example poor appetite or maybe overeating if one is um, quite stressed out people <coughs> excuse me people they do not want to eat or maybe they feel tired there's a lot of fatigue they feel low, the whole body is paining the whole body is aching you feel you start feeling tired because of these stressful conditions maybe at work as of as a teacher i i told you that they are the uh, they are the critical mass of professionals who have to take a lot of thing into their stride so uh, maybe because of the stress because of the students maybe because of the environment because of the teachers or maybe because of the colleagues maybe because of the meetings the workload the work pressure so on and so forth. so it will put you in a very stressful condition then there can be various aches and pains headache body ache muscle pain or maybe nausea or maybe the abnormal pain they can be sleep problems people uh, at times they i don't know different people react differently if you are very stressful one may just bounce back on a, a couch and they are off to sleep whereas on the other hand side people are very stressful so because of this stressful condition they do not get sleep proper sleep so and of course uh, if one doesn't get proper sleep it will lead to other problems as well or maybe uh, falling sick very often maybe the cold or uh, diarrhea condition so on and so forth so it's these are the symptoms that one can find out ki okay these are the stressful conditions then uh, mentally uh, we start feeling very low we start feeling very very demoralized uh, for example i have been talking about productivity productivity is directly proportional with the morale if your morale is high the productivity is high there's a matrix 2 by 2 matrix in our management and commerce which we talk about so if the morale is high the productivity is high if the morale is low the productivity is low and in case if you're working for any organization for any university for any school for any com company you need to have high productivity because high productivity is something which is going to take you a little higher then other symptoms of stress is that nervousness and anxiety if one one faces nervousness and anxiety that means you're quite stressed out excessive anger or depression as i told you we need to maintain a work life balance uh, any any stress at the workplace it has a direct impact on our personal life maybe we are not behaving properly with the family members or we are finding ourselves quite depressed we are not able to enjoy good music we are not able to enjoy the environment we are not able to enjoy uh, people around us so these are the symptoms of uh, stress or maybe being easily upset we you know like people feel oh no 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 i i i am fine with it but internally you are not fine with it the small little things may make you irritate you or make or may you may get frustrated over trivial things then poor self confidence low self esteem lack of concentration it says you know once the, the focus level is quite low once you are stressed out you know because you know in hindi mein kehte hai na jo aadmi bahut zyada chidchada jata hai that kind of situation crops up uh, once 
students if you are under the stressful condition or maybe the poor performance in our studies for example for a faculty members we need to keep on continuously upgrade ourselves now no matter how educated you are but of course you need to be abreast with the latest what is happening you need to upgrade your cv you need to keep on doing a lot of things to add to embellish your cvs so now all these things you know the, the pressure that we have over our mind it all leads to the um, uh, stressful condition so at times it says that is stress good or bad for us anybody uh, anybody from the audience um, can you tell me ki, uh, according to you what do you think is good is this is stress good or bad for us very quickly please anyone anyone i need to see there are so many people uh, in this platform uh, maybe guy three madam guy three madam can you hear me hello pranjali madam pranjali madam ragul sir Vijayendra sir, I think they have logged on and they have left or what? <laughs> Lavanya madam, anyone? Dr. Shubha madam, Shubha madam, Reena madam, no one is there. Ha, yes sir, yeah, ha, Reena madam. Yeah, I personally feel stress is very important. It is inevitable. Stress mm. keeps us more active. Correct. Helps us to grow better. That is my personal opinion. It should Wonderful. be. Wonderful. Wonderful, ma'am. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Of course, uh, you know, everybody will be having a different viewpoint on this stress. Uh, it says that stress is good or bad for us. So it says that some amount of stress is essential for us to excel in life. And this good stress or you stress is what we call about okay and once we are under stressful conditions maybe we are able to perform better for example you know when students they have they get their exams they are under stressful condition oh tomorrow i have got my exam oh i have to do this so at that point of time the time management is perfect and on the other hand you know we as a mommies we are after our kids okay sit down for studies sit down for studies but they will not listen until unless the stress falls on them so definitely madam the, you have rightly said that some amount of stress is quite uh, good for us and it is inevitable part of our life so we need that kind of stress however at times it says that when stress is too much then it reduces the performance it of course it says that when we are under stressful conditions as i discussed the, about the symptoms maybe we are not able to focus we are getting irritated we are getting frustrated we are not able to enjoy small little things small joys so on and so forth so that that is a bad stress which is known as distress so we need to get over these two kind of stress then it says that, um, uh, uh, as I rightly said, there are two kinds of uh, stress. One is the positive stress, a productive type of stress that provides strength to accomplish a task it can become negative. That's like uh, we are quite motivated. Oh, uh, for example, oh, we are under pressure. We are under pressure. We have to perform better tomorrow. Maybe if you have a group of uh, dancer, dancing troupe and they are under a pressure, oh, oh, tomorrow we have to perform in front of the big judges. So you know, they, that kind of stress will bring out the best out of them. So that is what is it says about the positive stress, whereas the negative stress, a type of stress that result in you becoming emotional emotional, illogical, or losing control of your temper. As we discussed that, you, know, you are becoming too short-tempered, not reacting well, work, you're not able to maintain the work-life balance, people are not happy with you, you're getting frustrated, irritated, small little things, they're making you unhappy. And of course, it says that it can cause you fatigue, changes in appetite, physical weakness, so on and so forth. Then it says that um, it talks about the uh, types of stress. Okay. Then it says that um, this is a kind of a small, uh, you know, chart which talks about. Um, it says that the performance and the stress. What kind of relationship does it uh, has the stress and the performance? If people we know that, that you know they, they can be two kind of stress. Then uh, your uh, you stress that is a positive stress and the negative stress. So if if it is a positive stress for anybody, 
So your performance is going to be better than before. And if this stress is taking a heavy toll on you, definitely your performance is going to deteriorate. So it says that zone of optimal performance is where we, you know, where we see how we are taking stress in our um, in our stride. Whether we are able to uh, take, uh, like in case if we want to give our best performance, so then we need to have the optimum amount of stress in ourselves. Otherwise, we will become all overconfident. So we don't have to be overconfident. We need to be a little stressful. For example, Mr. X, uh, as a gentleman, is going to face a, uh, face an interview with the others. So he, if he says, oh, oh, I know everything and I'm good and fine and this and that, maybe he doesn't uh, excel so well in the interview. But however, on the other hand side, if people are a little nervous, people are confident of themselves, they are, they are poised, they are calm, then they will be able to excel better. So it says that optimum amount of stress will definitely lead to the best performances. And if it is too high, if the stress is too high see the right hand side a uh, red line if the stress is too high maybe the performance is well worst and uh, of course uh, it says that the optimum uh, performance is one where we have the optimum amount of stress in ourselves we can bring out the best in our uh, in ourselves so it says that um, uh, dealing more effectively with the stress improves performance and the quality of life. We have to work upon the stress in different manner. How is it taking toll on us? You don't have to get affected by stress uh, or the stress should not take over you. You need to be poised. You need to be calm. You need to take care of the self and then see how we are able to handle the situation. It is just like a salt and pepper to our life. We need uh, these peppiness in our lives to make our lives better. So it says that, um, I don't know, uh, people are uh, not answering. Otherwise, I had come out with a small activity. Uh, what are the common uh, negative stressors teachers face and what are the positive responses? So now, um, uh, again, I would like uh, just maybe whosoever is willing to speak. Uh, can you tell me anybody as a faculty members, uh, my respected um, ma'ams and sirs, ki what kind of stressors do you think uh, that one faces negatively as a faculty member? Anyone? Again, I need to take out the names, it seems. Uh, this is um, mm, Lavanya, madam. Lavanya, madam. She's not there, it seems. Mihir, sir. Paridikshit, sir. Parun, madam. Parun Nagi, Nagi, madam. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So nice to see that blue dots in front of your name. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. So, yeah. ma'am, can you tell me, uh, can you, according to uh, just um, a small introduction of yourself, and can you just tell me, what do you think are the negative stressors for a teacher? Yes, yeah, uh -huh. just a second, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, uh, first of all, a very good afternoon to all. This is Dr. Parun Nagi from yes, uh, the, yeah, DAV Institute of Management, Faridabad. All right. And I am assistant uh, professor in uh, the field department of business administration. Wonderful, ma'am. Wonderful to have yeah. you here on this platform. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. And yes, yes, ma'am. To your question, uh, huh. the negative stress. Hmm. Hmm. For a teacher, because you are also a faculty member. I'm also a faculty member. And yes. others are also. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Hmm. So the negative stress, in my opinion, you know, would be when uh, uh we are expecting you know too much from ourselves as well you are okay. an you know, over ambitious person and right. you know you are uh, trying to of course the person who is ambitious you are trying to give your best and mm -hmm. expect the best but as you know it is teamwork most of the time when you are achieving the organizational goals so because hmm. of some reason, you're not able to achieve them because you gave your best, but because of some team member or hmm. some situation, you are not able to achieve it. So hmm. that would be one kind of, you know, negative stress. So ma'am, according to you, the expectations or the over ambitious, uh, ambitious uh, if a person is over ambitious, it can lead the person to a stressful condition as a faculty member. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank um, you, Tom. Yes, okay, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All, right. All right. So, is it uh, then? Uh, can we have some words from Selby, madam? Selby, madam. Then uh, I think she's also not there. Then Sundar Pandyan, madam. 
uh, Vishnu Priyan, sir. Oh, it's all um, after session uh, impact. The symptoms are quite clear. <laughs> Dipali, madam, can you hear me? No, she's not there. No issues, no issues. I, I'll just continue. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thank you, uh, madam, uh, for that uh, wonderful message of yours. Uh, of course, it says that um, there can be negative stressors, and the big one is the expectations, or with the over expectations, and the poor positive responses is that we may start working over uh, those expectations, and then we are able to live up to the our own expectation. We start working hard, and then you know we try, we are trying to cope up with the competition, and then move on like that. So that was a small activity I wanted to do, but uh, somewhere uh, people are not there, no issues. Then it says how to deal with the stress. Um, it says that we need to identify the stressors. For example, <clears throat> Madam from Faridabad. The AV college uh, she said that you know the over ambitiousness or maybe the expectation from ourselves that can be one of the stressors maybe for the others it could be they uh, maybe the uh, load of the lectures or maybe the small kids i mean they can be teachers who would be teaching uh, school kids so teaching them is a very very herculean task in in case if we are in the higher education system number of subjects that one teach or maybe the variety of subjects that we teach that can be one of the stressors then of course we are we have to understand how we are reacting to those stressors us, whether we are taking it too much on us, whether the stress is taking on you or you are getting onto the stress, we have to make a distinction between them very clearly. Then we need to visualize and set our goals. And lastly, we have to positive, we have to practice the positive stress relief. Now, it says that dealing with the stress, uh, what can be the relievers, for example? We need to find out an outlet to release our tension. It says that venting is very important. You know, when once if you go to the doctor and if you sit in front of the doctor and the doctor says, OK, tell me, madam, what is your problem? You are continuously going on and on for 10 minutes and the doctor is patiently listening to you. Trust me, my dear uh, respected colleague members, half of your uh, you know illness is gone then and there only so it is very very essential that you are taking your venting out yourself you are you're speaking to somebody or maybe to your colleague to be your friend or you're releasing your tension in some way or the other that is very very important then it says that um, uh, diminishing or the use of alcohol at times is very very common in the higher education system or you know people they get addicted to the alcohol system to streets uh, or maybe in the corporate life it is very very common that you know they will squeeze you they will uh, they, they'll suck the last drop of your blood and then you know okay fine i cannot bear more okay let me have something uh to drink not to become too emotional we have to take care of ourselves we are not bending or we are not dominating ourselves to uh, others also uh, when we are in the stressful condition we need to get organized we need to organize ourselves maybe in terms of our clothing in terms of our systems in terms of your uh, peripher peripheral things anything you can organize yourself properly maybe your workplace your sitting area you can decorate it or maybe you can put on a perfume which uh, which you are very fond of it anything it can be uh, getting yourself organized wearing new clothes going up for an outing uh, playing with the kid playing with the dog you know you need to get organized in that sense then uh, create a minimum maintain a support system and support network with whom you can make your make yourself comfortable then learn to relax this is very very essential we have to understand one word which is known as love yourself self-care this is very very important we as a faculty members or maybe as a female or maybe a male we are totally we are totally going down and you know doing every every everything for our family members but we need to take out time for our own self self-care love yourself think what, what what you like maybe if you want to you know you have money you can buy some gold maybe you think that i want to wear a new pair of shoes just buy it go ahead with it you need to love your care self-care is of paramount importance learn to relax maybe you can listen to some music maybe uh, you know you can you can have a small chit chat a small gathering anything maybe if you're going for an outing or maybe uh, you you are out for um, you're buying uh, vegetable fruits that can also be something you know which can make you a little de-stress or making taking your dog for a walk or maybe if you do not have a dog or you know you're talking to your kids talking to your elder people talking to your spouse all those are the ways by which you can relax and of course getting a balanced diet as we know that uh, once people are stressful you know, people they don't want to eat but we need to eat to get energy we need to get energy to face this stressful condition and get out of it simple and of course to get a plenty of sleep and of course we need to develop realistic goals let's say for example madam said that we are over ambitious of course everyone is over ambitious but we need to control ourselves and see what is something which is within my reach and i can get that 
then it it says that um, no, we need to uh, uh, i just uh, uh, i shared with that uh, finished off with that tip then it says that make little changes in our life can add up to big relief for example if you are single you can mingle that is this kind of a changes that you can make to cut get out those uh, stressful conditions learn to recognize when you are feeling stress and simple ways you can relax you should understand what is making me happy i'm going to do that whether it is a shopping i'm out for shopping whether it is a chit chatting i'm out for the chit chatting is it cooking which is distressing me i'm out for cooking whatsoever whatever your hobbies indulge in, in yourself please have that kind of self care uh, which, which is of paramount importance then we need to have a we need to um, you know take a break maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe once we are having an 8 hour uh, long a uh, long job we can have small tidbits uh, you can grab a grabby uh, maybe from a canteen go down for a walk small little things will make you uh, stress free then of course we need to have a positive bent of mind we don't have to be pessimistic we don't have to be we at times you know there are certain situations which we face that no with the situation is out of control but we need to see ki how we can keep ourselves positive even if it is a negative so that positivity has to enter into your body into your mind into your soul okay let so whatever is happening is happening for good and even if it is worst is happening that is also for the good that kind of feeling should creep into yourself then let others know that okay how we, how they can help you how and in case if they need your help you are always extending a helping hand or maybe uh, at times it's very essential to say no to your friends at times saying yes 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 that is you know people take it take it for granted so we should also learn to say no that is one of these stress method uh, tips then we say we said that we need to be prepared for the unexpected problems uh, we don't have to get um, irritated we don't have to get uh, frustrated we need to take it into a stride if we cannot change the situation then we need to change ourselves that would, that should be the motto then we need to uh, prioritize what is more important uh, we need to finish off those work in order to get out of those, out of those stress uh, stress areas and then at times it says that you know writing down the feelings of emotion there are at times there are people who are fond of writing diaries at times people they are fond of writing few things uh, uh, in a paper or maybe uh, they, are, they have maintain a scrapbooks or something like that you can do that also to de stress yourself then we need to enjoy the simple pleasures like colorful flowers dancing music outing if you all remember my first slide uh, jo, the, the first slide that i had shown it was all related with join the simple pleasures of life there was a lady who was uh, lying in the garden there were two people they were playing badminton over the building there were people who were dancing there was a single person who was dancing there were two kids who were chit chatting so no you need to get simple pleasures of life even if you know at times you know if a, if a, if a beggar comes to you and if you are able to offer something to the beggar that is also something which can give you small pleasure then of course sharing your talent to better lives of others as well as the sense of well being you can take up your talent at times when with sound dancing singing guitar playing music outing eating anything that can, these are the, these are all the stress uh, stress busters that one has apart from that we can uh, have some exercises there are people who are very fond of um, hitting the gym if it is so uh, please do that because you know it will definitely the whole body will come into shape and of course it will uh, give you fresh energy to work then he he healthy eating habits or maybe we can enjoy a movie uh, ott uh, movies netflix anything video games nutritious food and uh, all these things you know they they are the de stressors but we know that we do not have to get uh, quick remedies for example alcohol or maybe tobacco or getting into the nefarious activities of course they are quite harmful and of course it uh, affects our body and mind then it says that um, we need to practice the time management we need to learn the relaxation exercises for example if you're out for a garden you just sit on the grass or just walk on the grass those are the small relaxations that one can get be in a good air open air enjoy open air or maybe a scooty ride or maybe a car ride. right anything these are all these stressors or maybe there are people who are god fearing they can always bow their head down to the temples or if you, if you want um, the people they just go for uh, you know window shopping so that can also be a part of a stress um, um, these stress up then uh, then we need to uh, learn some practical skills to cope up these situations that is to be very positive 
to know that I'm control of myself and I will handle it and I will, I know will, I will be able to come out of it. Then negativity has to come out of the uh, oneself. Oh, this is happening. Now what will happen? Anxiety level, depression level. One has to be quite poised. And then you have to be quite confident with a lot of grit and courage to ensure, no, nothing is going to happen. So that kind of positive bent of mind will, uh, will keep you in a better way. Then it's like, uh, don't be a perfectionist. There are people who want to be perfect. They want everything to be perfect. But my dear friends, it is not possible to be perfect. And you cannot have everything perfect around you. Uh, right in the beginning, I told you, like, in case if you can't change the situation, change yourself, what it says. And of course, we need to have a wonderful network of friends with whom you can work, uh, you can chit chat, uh, where, do you, where you think that, you know, the wavelengths will match. Please find such people and then indulge in a lot of chit chats, which is a big, 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 very, very big de-stressor. And then it says that at times we can have the uh, relaxation techniques, breathing awareness, uh, then maybe walking or maybe jogging or maybe hitting the gym. And now uh, it is like in our, uh, it's very, very open that we got open gym. Even in our BHU campus, we've got an open gym. You can enjoy that in case if you have it in, in your area or maybe uh, some muscle relaxing activity or maybe the visualization. Okay, let me see what I can do. Let me see how I can be innovative. Maybe you can get, get along with your daughter or or a son or make some projects play some games with them uh, or chit chat anything so these are all the de-stressors that ones have in our life and then we need to enjoy the leisure time you can go out for outing small trips or uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, area or maybe outstation trips international trips if it permits you if time and money permits you and of course listening to music is one of the biggest de-stressors that one can have in case if you're fond of uh, classical music one can uh, listen to classical music if one is fond of uh, jazz pop or maybe hitting a uh, discotheque those are the ways we can always have you know as a stress uh, de-stress uh, methods then it could be relaxing sitting or maybe sitting in your own couch sitting in your own sofa sipping a cup of coffee these are the small thing, things which will definitely keep you stress-free and at times meditation helps you uh, to be more poised to be more focused and to be more in control of your body so these are the you know, ways by which we can do it and of course the positive visualization then <clears throat> And dealing with the stress at work, we need to surround with people who are positive people, who talk good about you. And then, then, then they, they, are, they are not the ones who are going to pull you down. You don't have to get bullied by them, but you have to have the positive people around you. Then we need to take out some time, maybe from our academic areas to relax. Okay, fine. Everybody cannot be perfectionist. If if other can do that, maybe I'm not able to do that, but I'm 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 good with something else. So that kind of feeling is more important. And then, of course, the biggest de-stressor is not to bring the uh, uh you know as a faculty member not to bring the burden or the troubles home that is the biggest one and it says that at times you know they, we can have assistance program at times the organizations provide us with the um, uh what do you call this uh, you know like uh, when i was in i am when i was starting we were taking uh, we were taken to one of the labs jyoti labs so though management uh, people they had come out with a small club for the members so in case of if 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 if, if it is the, that kind where we can have a where we where we think that we can even have um uh, kind of those requirements Regional activities, then we should always take um, uh, take uh, take initiative to be part of those groups because those groups, for example, it can be in the club activities, indulging in the club activities, or maybe it is like uh, you know uh, for people maybe go the people maybe go for swimming or maybe playing badminton, especially um, especially you know uh, where residential faculties they have got access to a lot of grounds, uh, cricket grounds, football grounds, or maybe they can walk down the wall. Uh, walk down the uh, lane so it all depends where you are working and what kind of environment you have so it says that then it says that a thought the only difference between a diamond and a lump of coal is that the diamond had a little more pressure on it so simply the, uh, the message is quite clear that once we are under stressful condition we have to take it as a positive signal positive symptom and definitely we will come out as the diamonds so the more pressure you have on yourself Take it in the positive stride and then you see uh, how um, uh, nicely one will come out of it. 
then it says that uh, preventing these stress at work uh, you know there can be some stress management there can be some changes in the organizational level and then we feel that okay we have to identify in case if you are the management head we have to identify why people are stressful what action can be taken how those um, uh, stressful conditions ca can be removed or uh, how we can improve the better how we can improve the environment how we can give them a better way you know, a lot of things have to be there for example there are private colleges they they have a different pedagogy of taking up things whereas in the central and the state universities they the, the scenario is quite different so even if it, even if we are working in a private organization or if we are working for any government organization we should have a better control of ourselves because we know that we cannot change the situation so we have to change ourselves so if it is so then definitely it will result in a, a better workout place and it says that um, I, I, I think uh, my people on this platform, uh, they are not available. Otherwise, we would have tried to find out what are the different ways by which you feel that you can feel stress. For example, you know, I, although I have discussed many of them, but some or the others, somebody might have said, you know, I put on my favorite perfume. Somebody would say it's for um, it's uh, maybe a small outing or maybe the music or some somebody who says, OK, some loud music, anything. So there are I'm sure uh, so many people who are connected on this platform every one of us would be having a different way of de-stressing ourselves but still uh, people are not there so had they been there so we would have a we would have had a very very interactive uh, session and would have come to know about it so for the stress um control there's a small strategy abc strategy it says that you have to be aware you have to be aware what is causing you stress then we have to balance our life between the workplace and our family life then we says that uh, we need to get the better control of ourselves not the stress controlling us but hame, we have to control our situation and how is it uh, working us then it says that we can change our thinking we can change our behavior pattern we can change our lifestyle to overcome or to de-stress ourselves so reframing and positive thinking are uh, the other two keywords which are the takeaways uh, for example we have to reframe uh, ourselves we have to see how we are looking at the things our perception has to be a, a different one my first slide it was all related with perception it was all related with relaxation which you would have seen then of course positive thinking will they help us to uh, be more happy poised and confident and of course we need to find out which are the strength and where i can do better what are the opportunities on my way i need to exploit those opportunities and of course once you are positive you can make a positive change to yourself also so and see this is this is the chart that i got so it all talks about you know like meditation visualization acceptance because we cannot change the situation so we have to change ourselves then optimism then uh, we have to adjust ourselves reforming or maybe um we have to see we have to get control Control of the anger, we have to get control of the overwhelming, we have to get control of the emotional attitudes, we don't have to burst out if anyone is saying we don't have to burst out. And then there can be certain tips, for example, meditation, affirmation, or maybe the visualization. And then our mindset is there, we have to see the optimism, we have to, see, we have to be quite optimistic. Or maybe we can ask questions or we can reframe ourselves or we can be more positive. We can adjust ourselves to the changing environment. And then we need to get a bit a bigger picture of life that we have to be positive. And stress is, uh, stress is not taking over you, but we know that we will be able to come over the stressful conditions. This is all the same that I just talked about. This is all being assertive. And it says, it says that... Um, uh, we have the equality rights we need we need we can express ourselves we have we our own opinions and beliefs we have the right to say yes or no this is this for example i told you that we should also say no to others at times so that's a, that is how you are controlling yourself and then uh, the right to say i don't understand the right to be yourself not acting for the benefit of others you have to have your own self care be focused, be positive, and love yourself. So that, that talks about the uh, equality part or maybe the stressful uh, part. So this is all related with the assertive skills. And it says that the what are the manifestations of the work symptoms, headaches, plum, high blood pressure, or maybe ill health would lead to some heart diseases, anxiety level, depression level, productivity, absenteeism, turnover. These are the things that, you know, if you are taking too seriously your life, you know, if you're too stressful, things will come on the uh, 
downfall side. So we don't have to do that. So we says that a model of stress, they can be environmental factors, organizational, individual, as I discussed with you in my previous slide. And it says that if we are too uh, stressful, you know, the condition would be really, very bad. So uh, we need, we, in my previous slide also, I told, uh, I discussed that, you know, some amount of stress is a kind of a positive motivator for all of us. So we need to find the right balance and we, we have to see how we are able to keep ourselves poised, calm, confident and control uh, situation, how you can control the situation. So this was all related with the uh, my stress uh, session. Now, just a quick um, uh, run over to the time management since we um, we are running short of time. We know that uh, time management is about controlling the use of your most valuable time and perishable. And time happens to be the biggest asset in our life. Once the time is gone, it will not come back. Since our school days, we've been always listening time and tide waits for no person. So we have to understand that how we can utilize the time in the best possible way. And at times, what does bad time management do to us? Uh, we know the repercussions are really bad. Once the opportunity gone, will not come back. Once the time is gone, waste it, it will not come back. So it says that um, it's, it's a time management is not about organizing activities with reference to the clock, but organizing yourself and your life with reference to what you want to be in life. You have, we've got a limited span of time. We have to adjust ourselves to the changing time to uh, get the best out of it. Then it says that once we are talking about the time management, we need to balance our family, our finance, our health, our work. So we have to divide our time for our family, for our finances, for our work and health. These are the four important parts that balance is important in our life. And then, of course, recognizing each aspect of life in terms of family, we need to devote some time, family time. We have to maintain a work life balance. This is very important um, because the teachers in the higher education uh, institution, we are overburdened with work, with a lot of expectation, with a lot of over ambitiousness. Uh, so we need to balance all these things. And then is everyone says that I'm not getting enough time for family purse because of work. This is no way. We need to squeeze time. We need to take out time. And we have to make certain sacrifices to give time to our family, to our health, and so on and so forth. And it says that 80% of the day is spent at work, eight hours of job, and maybe two hours is commuted, two hours, one side commutation. So almost 10 to 12 hours we are devoting to work. But we don't have to forget that we need some time for our family as well. So it talks about the time management, of course, doing the right things and not setting the things right. We have to take the decisions regarding what has to be done. We have to prioritize. We have to do what to do, what not to do. And it's, it says that every journey of life, every day of it, not waiting for a perfect day in future. If you think, OK, I'm going to get a perfect time, then you will never be able to start anything. So we need to have the right balance in the wheel of life. That is our um, uh, family, our health, our workplace, so on and so forth. So it says that to get the most out of uh, output with the given uh, resources, we need to get time for the important issues in our life. And of course, uh, when we are taking time, we have to ensure that we are quite satisfied and we are on top of the world. Then it says that um, it says that the issue is not awareness but action. Uh, for example, you know, like there are four A's. It says that avoid, alter, accept, and adopt. So even if we are under stressful condition, we can even avoid it. We can alter it. We can accept it, or we can adapt it. Same is the case with the time management. Also, that we cannot avoid the time. We need to make the best of it. We cannot alter the time, but again, we have to exploit it. We have to accept the situations and we have to adapt ourselves to them. So these are the four A's that we'd actually talk about. And then, then the action has to be uh, taken. Then uh, this is the acronym. Uh, if you see time, uh, T-I-M-E, managing a time, things to do. We have to make a thing. We have to make a list what has to be done. Then I is for the identifying the priorities in life. What is more important? What is not more important? There's a matrix that I will tell you, which tells us, um, which tells us what, the, um, how we can prioritize. And then M is making it happen. If, if it is a priority activity which has to be done, one has to take action to complete it. And E is for the evaluation, the deviation. Where are we lacking? We need to find out. 
then it says that priorities uh, a priorities the which we need which, which we need to do it now most urgent b is that we can do it but we need to finish off with the a priorities then the c priorities that aren't very important and they can wait so uh, this decision can only be taken by the individuals only uh, what is more important and what is not more important then procrastination procrastination is basically when you defer things for the um, future time period where you think no no we can do it at a later stage we can do it uh, after some time or maybe in the evening maybe the next morning so that is known as procrastination so it says if we wait for the moment when everything absolutely everything is ready then you know uh, we shall never begin so right time is right now so one should think in this um, manner so procrastination of course is bad for everything we, need, we should not procrastinate maybe because of the uh, procrastination we might miss on the uh, important opportunities of our life then uh, we we cannot um, we cannot be a last minute uh, decision taker we need to do a lot of things in advance we need to prioritize a b c a is most important b is until a is not done b will not be done and c is thing c priorities of course they can wait for the next time so we are talking about uh, prioritizing we are talking about using the time efficiently then it says that there can be a lot of problems that can be faced by the people in the case of time management uh, for example there can be some anxiety levels or maybe long office hours these are the all the levels of stress that we have talked enough in, uh, in the previous slides so as far as this time management is concerned they can be higher cost to you if you think you know problems caused by the ineffective time management uh, there can be some harassments there can be some crisis maybe maybe the lack of staff or maybe the cost so we need to uh, prioritize our time in accordingly then it says that why time planning or management because of course we are trying to bring future to the present we are not procrastinating um, we have no procrastination is allowed or maybe we know what we want or however there can be some more thoughtful action okay what opportunities do we have right now how we can exploit them as a teacher as a faculty member in the higher education institution we can find out what we can do now maybe you can always get motivated by others okay they have done this short term course i can also do that okay they have come out with the edited book i can also come out for example they can say okay they have come out with an uh, with a textbook i can also come out so we need to get motivated and our use our time properly rather than wasting it so that is what it says and then we have to be smarter in uh, handling the time however there can be certain causes of the ineffective time management for example we are uh, procrastinating there can be too many meetings too many interruptions in the form of uh, you know maybe telephones or maybe students every now and then people are coming walking down to your room and are disturbing so those are the ways where you know, uh, they they are the causes of the ineffective time management too much of work too much of information too many mails for example too many people waiting to meet you so these are the ways why we need to uh, effectively time we should know whom to meet whom not to meet what to do what not to do so uh, these are the uh, causes of a time management then again again it says the ineffective time management is like uh, absenteeism or maybe impatience lack of self discipline uh, you know what um, uh, we should know uh, that we have to be disciplined we have to finish within deadlines the bosses or the management will always overload you with work but we should know how to handle it we should be control we should be in control of ourselves how we need to to prioritize this is more important what is more important we need to take care of it urgently so uh, maybe for example idle conversation or socializing for example if anyone is too too talkative they are wasting too much of time in talking only so of course they are wasting on the time they can they could have utilized it or maybe the lack of coordination or the teamwork so these are the factors that that leads to um uh, you know uh, causes of ineffective time management then it says that how we can control the causes of an ineffective time management of course the priorities have to be set we have to cut down on the wasting activities the priorities i told you a b c see um we have to be quite creative with time we have to get motivated from others we have to squeeze in some time we have to work smarter not for uh, not the longer but we need to do something very smart and of course the, we have to set the diet deadlines okay this much work should get finished by this date or maybe even by evening maybe by tomorrow whatsoever it is and then uh, definitely we should keep a track record what we are doing and uh, <coughs> how we are going to do it so keeping the priorities wastages if we are able to minimize the wastages we are able to control ourselves control the time plan so to, so so these are the ways by which we can come over over it then um, of course it says that we have to make a list what must be done who should do it and uh, 
<coughs> there should be some uh, time wasting we should cut down on the time wasting activity maybe talking or too much of uh, excessive anything anything of ex anything if it is too much it is bad so we have to see where we are wasting time and then we have to take control of it okay now i'm not going to waste time maybe if anyone is watching too much of tv or maybe uh, too much of ott movies or maybe the series we need to cut on the time and then use it for ourselves then uh, we need to learn to drop the unimportant activities again the prioritization is very important and um, uh, say no or delegate so delegation is also one of the ways by which you can do some time management in case if you have people to whom you can delegate work and get the work done so we should always get them delegated so we have to have the uh, planning of the day the goals should be set we don't have to waste time or making excuses for something that is procrastination then it says that uh, uh, ventilation is one of the ways by which we can also uh, control the situation. A uh, problem shared is a problem halved. It says so we need to have good network, group, uh, group of uh, good uh, people, good network of people, friends who can help you out to overcome with the problem. They can help you to delegate. Half of the work can be taken care by them, or maybe your colleagues, or maybe your subordinate. It all depends on what kind of people are surrounding you, or maybe making up the notes also. Then it says that uh, we have to make the task, we can keep the calendars or we can organize our workplace. I still remember when I was a student at IIM Ahmedabad, uh, almost uh, more than a decade back, 2011. Uh, we were given a big desk and a table and a chair, everything. I still remember the whole uh, board was used to be with these sticky notes. Okay, now I have to do this, I have to do that. So that taught me because, you know, when, when anybody studies at IIM, it's a very, very stressful condition because whenever the faculty members take up any of the cases, you need to be thorough with the quiz. Maybe the faculty member is discussing the case maybe for two hours, two and a half hours. So you have to organize your, you have to organize your area. Maybe you can keep some sticky notes so you can prioritize okay you can keep a checklist also okay this work is over now next i am supposed to do this how much time is left how i can utilize my time so these are the questions which you have to pose to yourself and find the answers to yourself also and it says that avoid time wasters this is very essential especially chit chatting or doing any any other work and of course we need to uh, and we should not be afraid to ask help from others again this is a small chart if you see uh, it talks about the support system i can get along with friends family or for the time management, I can play. Um, I can play with the kids. I can play with the pets. There can be some sport activity in which I can indulge to keep myself stress free. Once you are stress free, no, no, no doubt that you will. Your performance will be great. And then uh, you, there can be certain feelings. Uh, uh, you can express your feelings to people, and you can talk to people. You can help people. You can maintain your network. You can be uh, social networking size. Maybe, maybe Facebook, WhatsApp. These are at times also these these stress busters but, but again they are big addictors we all get addicted to these networks so now these are the ways by which you can you know interactions and also we can always find the um uh, you know the way by which we can utilize our time so that we are stress-free we are happy we are satisfied and we are focused and it says that where uh, has all the time gone uh, again i wanted to a small activity but again uh People are not there, so I will not be able to do it. Otherwise, we would have tried to find out what are the waste um, time wasters for anyone. So in case if we want, we can have it uh, very quickly, uh, maybe just uh, a second uh, time. Hello? Hello? Ma? Hello? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, ma'am, 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 ma ma right. there are almost 30 people added to the group. So, uh, let me, anybody who's listening to me, uh, can tell me what are the time wasters for you all? Uh, we can, we, I can see Hobalia, sir. Are you there? Reena, madam, I can see the blue lines. It's so nice to see, uh, see those blue lines. Ma'am, can you tell me what are the time wasters for you? Commutation. Okay, great. Commutation, all right, and that's the main thing. Rest, <laughs> uh, rest use, yeah. Okay, okay, all right. Dipali, madam. Dipali, madam, can you hear me? Chandini, madam. Arun, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. IoT, madam, can you tell me something? Some time wasters of yours. IoT, madam, huh? Yes, ma'am. 
Ma'am, any time wasters? What do you think? Any time wasters according to you? Social media, ma'am. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Social media. We, we all get addicted to it. Okay. Then we've got some Amsa, madam. Vinayanagam is, is the person here with us. Uh, it's like, you know, post-lunch sessions, they're a little a tricky one. And this, um, Vijayendra, sir, are you there? Can you hear me? Vijayendra Swami, sir. They've just talked in and they have gone for a nap, it seems. Chalo, no issues at all. All right, so they can be different uh, time wasters. Uh, just for example, uh, rightly said by madam, uh, commutation or maybe the social media. So at times, this is quite true for me also, that they happen to be a big time waster uh, for me. So I wanted to have a small activity, but people are not there. But so we wanted to, I wanted to do a small activity where I wanted to know from you all, who are the people who have stolen some time? Is it to your colleagues or is it your manager or is it your team or is it your students or maybe the telephone or um, maybe your meetings or maybe the crises or maybe the unproductive work. So, you know, at times, you know, these are the big time wasters. At times, the people who are your colleagues, they can be big time wasters, your manager, your team, unnecessary meetings in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evenings. Your students would come up into your kitchen chamber they will sit for long hours chit and chat maybe the telephone you know there are people who are very fond of talking uh, very uh, at length you know a long phone calls meetings so these are the ways you know like these are the big time wasters of course and um, for me also madam uh, iot madam uh, for me also social media is a big time waster activity all right so this was the quadrant that i was talking about it talks about the urgent and the not urgent and the important and the not important part of it so it all talks about what is urgent what is not urgent and then um how it will reflect this so basically there are four uh, quadrants and uh, for example if it is not important not urgent then we can prevent it we can do some planning maybe if it is important and urgent that means it is crisis or it is unscheduled meeting something important has come up so it talks about that and then uh, maybe not important and urgent so th there can be some interruptions uh, maybe some peer pressure or maybe some uh, not important not urgent some trivial activities some phone call time wasters for example i was just discussing uh, maybe the commutation or the social media or it could be your friends your colleagues your students your telephone these are all the big addictions and they are termed as time wasters so the ir irrelevant mail they are also big problematic they are not important not urgent but still they are uh, time wasters that we are looking at uh, every uh, whatsapp message we are looking at every email that we are getting or maybe watching too much of excessive uh, me tv uh, tv or netflix or series because these series and all they are also big uh, addict, addiction so if you are if you happen to be in quadrant one then they can be stressed um, one can feel stressed out they can be some crisis management firefighting focus or maybe um, low or um, uh, maybe low on um, values if you if you happen to be on the quadrant three so and if you're in the quadrant two it can be uh, you are you are you're quite clear with the vision there is a balance work life balance you are disciplined perspective is clear there's proper control of the situation you are in control of the situation and if it is if had if it if it is quadrant 3 and 4 it says like you know in a cycling between uh, 3 and 4 is totally irresponsibility there are time wasters chit chatting phone calls irrelevant mails highly dependency on the others for the basic you are wasting time you think okay people will do your work yeah maybe short career path maybe you know that okay, I don't have, I am not too ambitious. I'm happy with what I have. So these kind of feelings, you know, these are the time wasters. Then it said that sometimes we need to say no. If you have time, then help. If you do not have time, please decline the project and focus on your own important thing. And it says that um, if you if you are saying no to anybody, uh, we have to be quite polite. And so I'm heading towards my end of the presentation. As far as the summary is concerned, we need to have a great planning system. We need to prioritize. We need to do the list. We need to identify the time wasters. We need to find out the quadrant in which quadrant we are falling. And then we have to uh, see uh, how we can uh, use our time. Then taking on the realistic goals on the schedule accurately, not to overcommitting, not to getting, not to get too much of expectation out of your own self. As per our capability, we will be doing things. So you have to manage your 
time accordingly. For example, for married, married uh, faculty members, I'm sure uh, he, even I have a family, even you have a family, how difficult it is to maintain a work-life balance. But still, we need to squeeze time uh, for our uh, self, for our work, for our family, and for our health. I, initially, we just discussed four things, your work, your, your family, uh, your um, uh, health issues, and everything. So we need to find out time. And then we need to be quite flexible uh, with anything unexpected. Uh, at times, things um, which are unexpected, we have to take out time for them. We should be prepared uh, for any kind of contingencies. And then, uh, of course, uh, we need to control the document, phone, workspace. For example, I told you that telephone is a big time waster. So we need to find out who, whose call is more important and what duration we are uh, we are supposed to talk to uh, talk or what time, how much time I can devote uh, talking to the person concerned. And of course, stay away from the perfectionism. We cannot be perfect. Okay, whatever we have, I'm happy, I'm satisfied, and it is a decent enough way. And of course, we need to aim for the excellence. And then uh, lastly, it says that we need to believe ourselves that, that um, we can get the most out of the existing time. We need to write down the goals. That is, we need to prioritize. We, uh, we, we, know, we should know what is A, what is B, what is C. A is more important. B is like, until unless A is not done, B will not be done, and C is something which is unimportant. So that can only be done by your by yourself only and then understanding the most effective time zone well, okay which are the things which are important unimportant urgent uh, not very urgent the quadrant that i had shown then it's like to to do the list what i'm supposed to do it maybe in case if you're writing a book in case if you're thinking of bringing a textbook in the market or maybe if you're writing a paper or a research paper or you're preparing for a conference so on and so forth so you need to find out what can we do it then scheduling the task as i told you then case creating the uh, processes on most of the tasks, how the things have to be done, how much time it is going to uh, take, we have to uh, finalize it on our own self. And invest time to train someone and delegate in steps. Uh, for example, we can always gain ourselves. We have to always improve ourselves. Uh, whenever I go for any of the team uh, training sessions, I always tell, um, of course, um, uh, right now the audience that I have, it is all the higher education, uh, education faculty members. But it's a very common thing which I also learned as a child. There was a teacher, there was an auntie who told me, in case if you have a blind polythene, if you blow it, it will get blown away. But in case if you put a lot of things in that polythene and then you blow it, it will not get blown away. So it says that you need to be a very, very dynamic personality. Make time to improve yourself. Make time to add on your skills, knowledge, abilities, cases, KPIs, whatever you want. Keep on learning new things. Keep on adding to your new, new things to your profile so that no one is able to shake you. So it says that invest time to train someone and delegate in steps. And then leave the habit of attending to everything that comes in front. Please prioritize what is important, what is not important. Even if a good movie is coming, we cannot sit because we have to do a work. So we need to prioritize. We need to get controlled of ourselves. And it says that the biggest mistake people can make is try to use each second fully, which is impossible. If we think, okay, I will utilize myself in the best way and will do that and do this, it is not possible. One has to be quite pragmatic and then take care of the uh, situation. And then it says that don't try to achieve every goal you want to achieve. Achieve only the goals you need and focused on the important things in life. You cannot get everything in life. We have to we have to trade off. We should know what is important, which is not, and what is not important. So this is what it says, and this is an acronym which has been given by me. That is, you be a Pura person, P-U-R-A, and Pura says, provide yourself responsibility and avenues, provide yourself enough time so that you can improve, provide yourself in an, enough time so that you can de-stress, so that you can identify the opportunities, you can identify um, the prospects, and you can excel in your life, uh, maybe in your professional life or in your, your personal life, maintaining a perfect life balance. And then it's says that um, how effectively the time management works for you. We become more productive if we properly practice our time. It, of course, it reduces our stress level. It, it improves our esteem level. Uh, we become more confident. We are more balanced and we are we become more multitasker. So in case if we are in any of the university, maybe a public or a maybe private, any college, everyone wants multitasking. And it is only possible when we are able to utilize our time. And then, then you can establish an important skill. We 
can always have a better uh, a better hand on uh, with anything you can uh, become an expert of anything now uh, maybe the training or maybe one session or any topic whatever you think uh, you are feasible and then of course with the perfect time management we can always reach our goals and um, just a parting advice uh, since we are uh, finishing it off we are all overloaded too much to do and too little time to do it good time management is necessary for surviving excellent time management is necessary for thriving so a decision lies with you whether you want to survive or whether you want to thrive so with good time management skills we can survive but of course as far as me is concerned i always believe in thriving so thriving will always come after surviving so good time management and excellent time management is what is the parting the um, parting advice from me and it says that pcr prepare yourself to cope up with the situation and recover out of your stress and the management problems to excel in life and last it says that if you waste your time you waste your life if you value you are uh, if you value and are stinky with your time investing every second wisely you are getting the most of it and the best way we can utilize the time as a faculty member in the higher education institution is simply by exploiting technology getting the right stuff getting the right knowledge and utilizing it for our benefit so it says that make a uh, make excellence a habit and it says that how far you can go so this is the best wishes from my side and my dear friends these are my books um, uh, hrm uh, this is my own baby uh, almost 2000 copies have already been sold in the market and currently the book is out of uh, stock and it uh, it works quite well um, in bhu and in um, uh, other parts of the country so in case if you are from the commerce or management background and in case if you have hrm so uh, you can always recommend my book and it says that decide to be on the top of the situation rather than be top uh, part of the mess we have to be on the top of the situation by keeping our uh, by de-stressing ourselves with proper time management rather than being the part of the mess so wishing you all the best to all the faculty esteemed members who are part of this uh, platform today thank you so much and a big welcome to the new stress free environment be healthy um, excellent and safe thank you so much ladies and gentlemen